Hey guys, welcome back. Gorbomb here, bringing you another standard showdown live. It's been a while since I've done sat down and actually played showdown. You know how I am with college, busy. We're trying to record free for alls and you no know, things like CPL keep me busy and Undertale. Undertale. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check that out. That's been a lot of fun, and I've been trying to record that too. And other stuff besides just Pokemon, but like I, I need to sit down and play Pokemon. So I joined. I think OST is what it is, official Smogon tournament, and uh, I built a team because I. I think you battled a guy three times, and I wanted to try out a team. I wanted to try out Life Orb Breloom, and I built it from scratch. This is 100% me. We got um, Life Orb Breloom, enough speed to outspeed uh, something. I, don't know, I built this team like last week. It's been a long time. But I didn't want to go max speed. There really wasn't a point, um, because if you run out of it and do max speed, the only thing you're speed tying is with is other Pokemon that are base 70, which in OU is only Breloom, so I did it for like slower Pokemon. I think this outspeeds Azumarill if it's Jolly Max speed. I'm not too sure. We got Heatran, specially defensive enough. This is for, um, the speed is for the um, Mega Venusaur's Taunt, Toxic, Lava Plume, and Stealth Rock. We got Rocky Helmet Slowbro to punish U-Turners. Um, a lot of defense, a little bit of special defense for, uh, to survive T-Bolt and whatnot. Why has this been happening? Whatever, sorry about that, guys. It's been reconnecting me. Hopefully it doesn't happen while I'm battling, but if it does, I'm gonna have to battle later, which would be great, because I'm gonna lose motivation later. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh yeah, Skull, Thunder Wave. I want a Thunder Wave in the team. A Regenerator is always nice. Thunder Wave to slow down for my other Pokemon. I also really, really wanted to try Thunderous. This is Agility agility Thunderous. Um, with Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, and Hidden Power Ice. This thing's actually really strong. Max speed so I don't have to worry about... Um, so I can outspeed base 100 Pokemon and I don't actually have the Agility unless I absolutely need to. Um, thun uh, <clears throat> Not so much Defensive Exit Drill, but Assault Vest to survive against... Um, uh, sorry about scratching, guys. Um, the, the Mega Deontes, um, Earth Powers, and things like that. So uh, I can I can survive in Revenge Kill with Iron Head. Rapid Spin, support mainly here. Rock Slide for T Flames. And then Mega Gardevoir, another Thunder Wave user, Hyper Voice, uh, Psychic, and Calm Mind. Um, spread's very unique. I feel like this would work out pretty well. I think <clears throat> I got this set from somewhere. I don't remember where I got this set from, but it does put in the work for sure. 24, uh, I think I remember. 24 Defense was um to survive something it survived something i just don't remember what it was 200 because i don't need more than 200 to oko the things that i'm already okoing no matter what the spread is and then 32 hp because um yeah, that's what i had left so yeah there's that <laughs> let's go ahead and find a match sorry i'm a little i'm a little everywhere right now i'm like feeling really shitty i've been sick for like a week and a half now <clears throat> you guys can probably tell in my in my um Commentary lately, anyways, let me tell this man I have fun, and also I am recording this for my YouTube, I haven't done this in forever, channel, or a bomb, if that is okay with you, um, control A, control C, control enter, no control, alright, so he's got the clef, clef is always a problem, um, this team isn't too bad, I want to get a Brox right away, um, I can also spore whatever, but he has ditto, so I have to get rid of that ditto first. And, uh, yeah, I feel like a solid lead for me is just going for Slowbro. He doesn't have too much I can deal with Slowbro. So I'm just gonna do that. <clears throat> if I can paralyze, ooh, if I can paralyze this ditto, that would be amazing. I don't think he's gonna stay in though on paralysis, but I'm, I'm going to do that anyways. Because if this, this thing's most likely scarfed, it'd be nice for him to copy what I have. Um, for, and that would be nice for... It'd be nice for him to see what I have, but knowing that I have Thunder Wave means he's probably not going to stay in and risk being paralyzed. In fact, he's probably going to switch into his either Mew or his Clefable. As he does go into Clefable, having this thing paralyzed is actually really nice. <clears throat> this way, like, I mean, it's Magic Guard most likely, so I don't have to worry about any other craziness. I'm gonna, if I can go into Extra Drill, I mean, that seems really obvious because Extra Drill walls this thing. I kind of want to go into Gardevoir. If I go an extra drill, he can double into Gyarados, uh, but Gardevoir kind of walls, kind of beats Gyarados almost every time. I think I'm going to go straight into Heatran here, because I want to get out my rocks. His way to get rid of rocks is, um, oh, that, and I want to taunt this thing. Let me go ahead and taunt this thing right now. Um, if he wants to stay in, that's fine, but whatever comes out is going to get taunted, and yep, he gets fully parried, and now he might as well switch out. I'm going to get out my rocks while I can. I can taunt stall this thing, there's no way he can soft boil, um, <clears throat> he can't magic guard again, he just has a moon blast which I eat up deliciously, um, 
pretty much healing me after leftovers. I'm just going to lava plume here. Something's going to get burned, and that would always be nice if something gets burned. Uh, Dragonite comes in. I hope this thing gets burned. Come on. Yes, please, please. Dang it, man. That sucks. Uh, he probably runs EQ. <clears throat> Anyways, I got rid of his hazards, or his uh, multi-scale. He might be the bulky D Knight set. I'm going to go into his slow bro, though, because if he's going to go for any sort of nastiness, I'd like to be able to punish him with that Rocky Helmet. So uh, I go right back into Heatran. I don't think he's going to detail again. Um, saying that I'm going to Toxic here. <coughs> It'd be nice to put something on a timer. If this Dragonite could be on a timer, that'd be great. Okay, don't go for EQ. He goes for Roost. But that's good. Now he now he will never have that multi-scale back. And now I'm going to go right into Gardevoir. Uh, actually, that's probably a bad play. I'm going to go back into Slowbro. I can punish him again. And... Um, yeah, I didn't want to take too much damage from any sort of EQ sh uh, shenanigans. And here, uh, I think I'm just going to do some chip damage. He does have Roost, uh, but he's probably going to switch out. But saying that, saying he's going to switch out, I'm going to Scald. Burning something's always nice. I didn't want to go for the Psy Shock because of Mew. And I, did go I do get that burn. You get the Synchronize, but that's fine because I do have Regenerator. Uh, he might have Heal Bell. We're going to find out now, but he's most likely going for Defog here. Um... So I can take advantage and go into Gardevoir. Could also go into Breloom. Hmm. I could taunt this Mew. I mean, they're usually, I'm gonna go into Heatran and try to taunt this thing before it soft boils or heat bells or anything. As he gets up his own rocks, which is interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna taunt here too. I don't want him getting rid of my rocks. My rocks do way more to him than uh, my rocks do to me. Plus, I can rapid spin. As he goes into D Knight again, uh, he's just continuously taking that uh, damage. Um, I'm taunting him though, so he, he cannot roost now. And he's going to go if he goes for uh, EQ. That's great. I'm just going to go back into Slowbro. Uh, if he goes for if he goes for the um, what's it called for the Dragon Tail, that's even better. I'm like really nervous for this league match. I have it. Let, let's say today is the fourth. I have it in two days, so I, I kind of want to test this team out. I'm not I'm not expecting much out of it because I'm not taking this too seriously. I'm not getting friends. I'm not getting help from friends who are great battlers. Uh, a lot of my friends are actually terribly busy, so I can't really get too much help from anybody. It just goes for EQ again. Um, I am gonna slack here because he's just taking that toxic recoil, and I'll switch out on a turn that he has to go for the. Um, what attacks does he have? Uh, he goes for Mew here, interestingly enough. Hopefully he goes for Defog now. Because I can get up my rocks again later. I am just going to go... If I go back in the... I feel like going back into... Um, into a heat train is just going to set me back eventually. He might double into Dragonite. I'm actually going to go into Gardevoir now. Uh, as he goes for Soft Boil, interestingly enough. What is he... Does he not have Heal Bell? That's interesting. I'm actually going to Mega. If I Calm Mind, do I win? I feel like... Uh, I feel like if I Calm Mind, I just win. But he also has Ditto, so... I'm just going to Hyper Voice... So, that did a lot of damage. It actually kills. That's awesome. Um, does that kill after burn? I feel like, yeah, it definitely kills after burn. His switch into this doesn't exist. So, I'm just going to go for Hyper Voice again. Like, his switch into this is Gengar. Um, something pretty much dies here. It gets really close to dying. So, Mew is gone. So, now I can spin away my rocks. Uh, Gardevoir doesn't do a terrible much for me, terribly much for me this game. So, it's good that, uh, it's good that Gardevoir is going down now. Um, I'll just stay in until it goes down because this thing nukes his team as he goes into ditto um, I mean I am running a little bit of bulk so I, I'm, I can thunder wave him here too I'm gonna try thunder waving if I can paralyze his ditto that'd be great that would be amazing if I can paralyze his ditto I don't have to deal with any scarf ditto shenanigans as he goes for hyper voice which does knock me out but I do have an excadrill that will survive any of his bullshit and he has to switch out here um, I really, I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide. I could go for Rapid Spin. Ignore the background noise, guys. I thought it was gonna be gone. Um, Rapid Spin would support my Thunderous, uh, but Rock Slide to get rid of that, um, Gyarados would be great. Oh, also this Dragonite just dies. Fantastic. Okay, so, that thing's down. If he goes into the, um, into the Ditto again, I do have Slowbro. As he just goes into Gyarados, uh, he is Intimidate. Uh, definitely his Mega. I'm just gonna go to Slowbro here. Like, there's nothing a Gyarados can really do to a Slowbro. I can eventually Scald Burn it. I can also Thunder Wave it. Um, like, his switch into this is Clefable, because he has nothing else he can really do right now. As he does take that recoil damage, he has no way to recover either. So, um, 
I'm going to make the play and double into Heatran, predicting him to go into his Clefable on a T-Wave. And if I do that, I can actually taunt the Clefable. Um, this might be bad, as he goes into Gengar, interestingly enough. I am a Spideff Gang. I am a Spideff Heatran, though. So uh, this isn't the worst thing for me. I'm going to be right back, guys. Well, it looks like I can't do too much about the background noise right now, and I do want to finish this battle first. So I'm going... I don't want to lose this thing. But at the same time, I mean, it's just a Clefable. I'm going to Lava Plume here. Oh, that was a good play on his part. But he can't do much of anything. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Because he has to lock himself in the Lava Plume, and he has less Lava Plumes than I do. So in a 1v1 situation, I do win this. Because like, if he... I mean, he has... Yeah, I win this. I'm just going to taunt him so he can't do anything else for any godforsaken reason. And I have more Lava Plumes than he does. So... If this thing struggles, that's fine, but I'm going to win this. Because <laughs> if you guys don't, for those of you who don't know, whenever you uh, whenever you uh, use Ditto to copy something or use Transform or Imposter, you only get 5 PP of each move. Since I have 22 left or something like that, what is it? I have, uh, yeah, I have 21 left now. I'm going to win this thing 1v1, and I don't need too many Lava Plumes to beat him. Because I do eventually beat him with, against his Clefable 1v1. Plus, I have Iron Head on my on my um, extra drill, and he's paralyzed already. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna. He has one left. There's no way. Yeah, get out of here. Take this damage. This is a good sack though, because it doesn't do anything against me. Um... I almost want to go for it again, but that's too risky. Slowbro doesn't do too much for me anymore this game. Like, Slowbro is only meant for this Gyarados. So if he doubles here, that's fine. I just take advantage of it so one way or another. As he just goes for Crunch, that is crazy strong. Um, but here, I'm just going to go for whatever. I'll go for Thunder Wave in case he doesn't want to sack this thing. Or actually, I can go for Slack Off in case he doesn't want to sack this. I'll, I'll Psy Shock. Yeah, he's just going to sack this here. Um, he's probably going to bring in his Ditto. I could go into Drill. Drill is definitely my safest play. No, it's not. I'm going to go back into Tran. Tran's my best play. Because if he goes back into Ditto, it, the same situation happens again. He can't Toxic me. He can't Taunt me. I mean, he could Taunt me. If he really wants to Taunt me before uh, he goes into his Clefable, that'd be really funny. But if he does that, I'm just going to double. I'm going to go into my extra Drill if that happens. So we'll see the play that he makes here. But I don't want to start a timer, because I did have a pause. You guys, well, I told you guys I want to quickly pause, but, like, I was out, I was gone for, like, two minutes trying to get people to be quiet, and, like, there's, like, maids at this place that I record at right now cleaning up, and they're all doing their thing, and I don't want to bother them too much. He does go into ditto, so uh, this situation kind of happens again, but instead of, I'm going to taunt, whatever. He should taunt, what he should do right now is taunt me. He should taunt me and then go into his Clefable. As he goes straight into his Gengar. That was really risky. Um, but like I said earlier, like I'm okay to just Lava Bloom here. This Gengar is not going to one-shot me. He's, he has to go for Focus Blast and risk a miss. And uh, yeah, here comes the Clefable. So that did so much. Yeah, I definitely beat this thing 1v1. Um, yeah, I'm going to taunt it now before anything crazy happens. Uh, now that puts him in range to just lose... This is this is a long first game, but I really like this team. Ooh, somebody messaged me on Skype. I'll be right back. Okay, he went for Calm Mind on that attack, so I'm just gonna go for uh, Lava Plume. As he goes into his Gengar to take this Lava Plume damage, I guess he just doesn't want this Gengar anymore. Um, which I mean, whatever, that's fine. I'm just gonna Lava Plume again. I win this game. I I don't know why he's still playing this game, to be honest. But, you know, other people play their games. Um, as he Destiny Bonds, okay. I don't win this game anymore. <laughs> Not for sure anymore. Um, but I can go into Thunderous. And in order for him to beat me... Well, okay, let's, let's think about this. I could beat his Clefable 1v1 by going for Nasty Plot T-Bolt. 
I don't need Breloom this game. So I'm going to Breloom. I want to get rid of these hazards first. As he as he goes, okay, this 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 actually works for me. I'm gonna bullet seed here. This is gonna do a lot of damage. <laughs> I can promise you, it's going to do a lot of damage. This is a life orb, adamant technician boosted Breloom. This is going to do a shit ton. And if he goes into Ditto, he's weakening himself for Mach Punch. Look at that. Look at that. That's ridiculous damage. <laughs> hmm. So now I get to see what he locks himself into. Which, uh, I don't, uh, he has to go for Rock Tomb to win. I think that's his only way to beat me, is to go for Rock Tomb. Because then he can, ki he can kill the Thunderous. But if he does that, he's, he's choice himself into, uh, move that's not super effective against Extra Joe. But he could not be any sort of, um, you know, locked into anything. One more hard time, one more time. Oh, come on, Breloom. So he's definitely going for Mach Punch again, so. Yep. So, I guess he can beat me if he crits me. There's that. <laughs> he has to crit me or uh, anything like that. Let's just go for HP Ice and that should be game. Um, let's find out. Let's find out. Any moment now. Yeah, GG. <clears throat> Alright guys, let's go ahead and try to find another match. We'll be right back when we find one. Is he not going to say anything? I just assume these people say things. They always do. Um, Alright, well, oh, we got one. Oh, this team looks interesting. It's kind of awesome, actually. Um, that's kind of cool. Let me see if he said anything yet. All right, let me just head out then. Um, okay, so I win this thing with hazards for sure. I am going to have to kill Tentacool. Nobody's ever wished me good luck on my channel before. That's awesome. The go this guy. Um, I have to kill the uh, Tentacruel, but Hazards win this game. He also does have Duck Trio, so I can't go into Heatran all willy nilly. So I'm not gonna have. I can't get up Hazards. I don't think I can get up Hazards at all. He's most likely going to start with Teeny since it's gonna probably be Scarf. He might even start with Pidgeot. This is actually gonna be a really difficult game to win. Um, if I start with Slowbro, he could go into Weavile. If he starts teeny, then he can go for fusion bolt. I feel like Slowbro is my best bet though, because I can survive any of those attacks. As he goes, uh, yeah, this is good. I can um, just go for T Wave here, because I don't want this thing. I don't want this thing being too fast. I want to be able to speed it with all my mods. I actually don't know Pidgeot's max speed off the top of my head. Let's find out. Slash data, data mega Pidgeot. Yeah, it's 120. That's really fast. I didn't know it was that fast. Let's go for U-turn. All right, go into uh, go into. Don't go into Celebi. He's going into Celebi. Well, that's unfortunate. That's okay though. Um, I could start hitting things hard with Thunderous. I don't know what he's gonna do here. He might just Leech Seed, but as he goes to Giga Drain, I actually did a lot of damage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. If I HP ice, I think I think hitting what's in front of me is kind of important. Um, look, that does a lot of damage. Thunderous, chill. All right, he goes for baton pass. Um, so I got off a pretty decent chunk on that Celebi, forcing him to recover next time he comes in, which is good. Um, as he goes into Victini, that just screams to me that he's scarfed. But what's he gonna go for? Glaciate. I'm gonna go into Heatran and then I'm gonna double into the uh as he goes for Zen. Oh he just went straight for Zen. I'm going to go right into Slowbro now. Because if he, he goes for Zen again or he goes into Duck Trio. Perfect. Okay. You might be trapped. Oh no, what a surprise. I'm gonna go for Scald. Because if he goes, he goes he gets up his rocks. Please, please, get burned, get burned, get burned, get burned, get burned. There it is. That's what I like to see. Only reason why I wanted the burn that time was because I didn't want to have to sacrifice my Heatran this game. Because Heatran actually does pretty decent work this game. Um <clears throat> Alright, so we got up rocks. I'm gonna go into driller. I wanna get rid of these rocks now. These rocks are actually a nuisance to me. Uh he can Giga Drain all he wants. I am a salt vest, so that comes in handy right now. Um, I want to keep this driller. I do want to rapid spin. I definitely want to keep this driller for that uh, tentacle because I can survive most things uh, tentacle want to do. In fact, I can survive almost everything a tentacle wants to do, and um, I can kill it with EQ. 
I think. It depends on him. If he's max defense, I might not be able to kill. As he goes into Weavile, I don't know what's he gonna do what he's gonna do here. Like, is he gonna pursue me? I don't have a Weavile switch in, to be honest. Why do I not have a Weavile switch in? I guess it's just because it's so easy to check. Because I can just go into Breloom. Alright, so who do I want to sack here? Who do I not need this game? I don't need Gardevoir this game. It's kind of sad, to be honest. That's really sad I don't need Gardevoir this game. But I don't need Gardevoir this game, so I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not one of those players that dwell on the whole, like, oh, you're getting rid of one of your greatest Pokemon. I'm not gonna do that. That's not me. I'm gonna T-Wave in case he wants to do anything crazy. As he just goes for Ice Crash. If he missed that Ice School Crash, that would have been amazing for me. But I'm just gonna go into Breloom here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna Revenge. He can Ice Shard if he wants. Uh, actually, he can Ice Shard. He did reveal Ice Shard. That was a huge misplay on my part, guys. I'm sorry. Um, that was a huge misplay on my part. I have to go with it, too. Uh, as he just goes straight into Celebi, he's not going to appreciate that too well. Um, he's probably just going to Baton Pass here, which is okay. I'm going to go right into Heatran. Now I can get up my rocks because this thing, this guy keeps passing around. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stop this nonsense right now. Um, get on my Stealth Rocks. That Weavile is a threat too, so it would be nice to force it around a little bit. What's he going to go into? His Cruel. All right. Um, so as he goes into Cruel, what do I want to do against this thing? I could hit EQ and hit everything but the Mega Pidgeot. At the same time, I can go into Thunderous and just spam T-Bolt. So I think I'm going to do that. As he does go for Rapid Spin, yeah. Now I can just hit Thunderbolt and pretty much win this game. Because every time this thing comes in now, it's going to get a kill. Yeah, this, he's not going to appreciate this. Yeah, I'm just going to HP Ice you and then 2 shot you. Uh, what do you have? Do you have anything else? Yeah, I definitely get the two shot after this. As he goes for Baton Pass, um, lets the Celebi take the damage. Goes in the Weavile. Probably gonna click Ice Shard. Um, he has Ice Shard, Ice Cold Crash, Knock Off. What's his last move? I don't know what his last move is going to be. I don't see Ice Shard that much anymore. You usually see Ice Cold Crash, um, Knock Off, Pursues. He might have Low Kick, which is so bad. This thing is such an annoyance. I should have agility. That's what I should have done. If I agilityed, I probably could have won. No, because he has ice, ice shard, so I can't win that way. Um, and he got rid of my rocks. Do I need rocks to win? I don't feel like I need rocks to win. I'm going to go into Heatran. Let me eat up that ice school crash. Uh, I'm just going to go for Lava Plume. I don't care. Um, I could go for Taunt, but I'm just going to Lava Plume. If he low kicks me, that's a good time to reveal it. He sacks his Celebi here, um, interestingly enough, so uh, I don't have to worry about that monster anymore. That thing was actually annoying for pivoting purposes. <clears throat> I'm going to go for Stealth Rock here. He just goes for Skull, and I eat it because I am spit off Heatran. And uh, he has to go for Rapid Spin again, which means he doesn't have a switch into T-Bolt anymore. As he goes for Double Skull, don't burn. All right, fantastic. So it means I get two Thunderbolts off. Um, yeah, I get two Thunderbolts. So Tentacruel did not go down. And is he going to get the Rapid Spin skill? kill? No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, I could go into Heatran. I'm going to go into Heatran. He doesn't have a play against Heatran anymore. So I'm just going to Lava Plume here. Lava Plume will kill at this range. and uh, Oh, he does have the Rapid Spin. I, th I thought I outspeed it. Why do I not outspeed Tentacruel? I have to run a little bit more speed. Actually, can I afford to run a little bit more speed? I don't think I can. I'm going to try to get up rocks one more time. Just for cleaning up purposes. As he does reveal a low kick, which does kill. That's fine, though, because I can reveal the mock Punch, which will kill. Um, I could also go in a Drill. No, I'm, I have to go into Breloom. I have to go to Breloom, and I have to click Rock Tomb. Because I'll survive an Ice Shard, which he has to go for. And uh, Rock Tomb's going to do a shit ton of damage to whatever wants to come in. Including the dead Pidgeot. Okay. So then he has to go into Victini, which I'll go right into Slowbro for. And he can revenge me uh, with a Weavile if he wants. As he goes for V-Create, which I eat. That was... I don't even think... Um, I honestly don't even think Knockoff can kill. <clears throat> I honestly don't think so. I'm going to go for T-Wave. They're, they're, thereby neutralizing the Weavile threat in case he does crit knock me off. Uh... 
this is it's, okay. So here's my thought process on that. I go for Scald and risk a burn, neutralizing the Weavile threat, or I could paralyze it, m paralyze it, meaning that my Mock Punch will kill this thing for sure and outspeed it, so I don't have to worry about any sort of Ice Shard bullshit. And um, I can actually save this for the Victini, because like, uh, from the looks of it, I always switch in on that Pokemon. So th there's a crit right there, a knockoff crit, which I was worried about, my, which was what I was worried about for my slow bro. But now, like I said before, I can just go into this thing, and I don't even have to go for... Actually, I have to go for Mach Punch, because I don't want to take any ridiculous Ice Shard damage. And I think he knows that, too. He had to go for Ice Shard there. And um, I think I have to go into Slowbro, because I have to see what he's going to lock himself into. He's clearly locked, and uh, he, he goes for Bolt Strike, which I eat up. Um, but he can actually kill me. So this might be really close. It's a roll, though. I'll slack off. And I get the roll, which is great. Um, yeah, I get the roll. So I don't. Th I think I win this. No, he gets a crit. Okay. I probably didn't win this. Um, Fusion Bolt's probably going to kill, too. But double mock. I can't afford that. That's Life Orb Recoil. I'm going for Rock Tomb. As I resist. Okay. And I get the paralysis. And the Rock Tomb lands. Okay, that was a close game. That was an unnecessary close game. GG. Alright, let me tell the... Alright. Okay, that was a stupidly close game. Let's go ahead and find one more match. He left. Um, HF. I might not win this game, though. He's got the he's got the um, Talon Flame and the Bisharp. Okay, so this team, this team is standard dot deck right here that I'm looking at. He's probably going to start with Chomp. Because Chomp is good against most of my team. Um, I could start with Thunderous. Uh, I could also start with Gardevoir, but he has two Steel types. Uh, if I start with Bro, hmm, this is tough. Look, Thunderous beats all of his Pokemon. It actually beats all of his Pokemon. I'm afraid of him starting with Talon, though. I have a switch in for Talon, which is Slowbro. And Thunderous' HP Ice does kill does kill the um the uh, guard chomp like i know it kills defensive chomp as he doubles into latinos which i'm gonna t wave because this thing is annoying as he goes for draco doing 83 mm percent -hmm. but with the t wave uh it's only gonna do about 40 now which means i can actually slack off um slack off against his mon and uh whatever the hell else i want to do uh, as he goes into this thing meaning he's going to pursue trap me the Unless this is his Mega, which it definitely is his Mega. Um, so he's not going to pursue Trammy, but he's going to SD. I'm afraid of the superpower. Um, I feel like going... Uh, I have to go into Heatran, though. I want to get my uh, I want to get my Regenerator back up to full. And um, as he does go for Bug Bite, which is whatever. That doesn't matter. I'm going to get up my Rocks right now while I can. If he is superpower, which he, he probably is superpower. Uh, well, I guess he's not. Um... Is he gonna be Belly Drum? There's just so many threats right now. I'm gonna go back in the Slowbro. I don't even think Belly Drum can knock out the uh, Slowbro. But he goes for Waterfall, which I eat once again. And um, here, I'm just—I uh, don't want to T wave this thing. I want to burn this thing. Uh, as he goes into Latinos, as expected, um, he can knock me out from this range. So I'm gonna go into Heatran. Um, I'm gonna start shooting out Toxics. As he defogs it up, I can just get up rocks again, um, which I will, don't get me wrong. I need rocks for this game. I don't need rocks, but they definitely help as he goes into Sharkisha, no! <laughs> um, the e if I think the EQ is coming, I go into uh, Slowbro. Eh, I have to go into Slowbro. It's a perfect pivot. As he gets up his own rocks, um, I am going to Scald again. He goes into this thing. But now I can survive an EQ unless it crits me, uh, which I crit him, which, you know, I don't even think that one matters too much, though. Um, let's see if he recovers here. Uh, he gets fully paired. That sucks. This actually sucks for him. Um, and let's see what happens here as he recovers. He does reveal the recover. Um, I'm going to go to Gardevoir. I'm going to get off my Mega now while I can. I'm going to Mega... I could Mega T-Wave. His switch into this is Scizor. But I'm gonna I'm gonna Mega Hyper. Get off some damage on Pokemon, it's whatever. 
As he does go into Scizor, as expected. I don't have the Focus Blast. I don't feel like I need it so much for this team. I did 35%. That is 100% offensive. He's going for Bug Bite. Do I play the Bug Bite game? No, I have to go back in the Heatran. I wanted to go in the Slowbro, but... Um, as he makes a double, a very, very nice double. Uh, good on him. This is my switch into Dragon Time moves. Slowbro is my switch into all things he does. Uh, this is actually, this is a really high level game right now. Uh, as he goes for the EQ, that did negative damage. I'm actually going to uh, Scald here. No, I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to slack off. Um, he just go right back into this monster. I'm going to go into uh, the Gardevoir again. He, he probably wants to drop a Draco. Um, I, do, I do wall this thing as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I want to T-Wave the Scizor, but I just don't see a lot of point in it. I'd rather burn it with Scald. I'm going to Hyper Voice. I'm getting off a lot of damage on that Scizor. Or, and unless it's... Oh, as he goes into this thing, so I guess he sacks his Talonflame here. Or not. Wow. Is he going to... I feel like he's going to go for... I'm going to go for Psychic. I feel like he's going to roost it up. Yep, there it is. That didn't even kill. This thing's Spadef. This is the bulk of Talon. Ah, oh, okay. So he, he's he won't kill me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he won't kill me. So this Talon is gone. Huge threat is out of the way. Oh, I don't know why my phone keeps going off. Um, one threat gone, though. Hazards are less necessary this game. As he goes for this thing, he's probably going to roost again. But I'm not going to play that game. Uh, if I go into Slowbro, his switch into that is the Bisharp. I don't like that. I'm going to go to Heatran again. Um, as he goes for the Bullet Punch, I really wanted to stay in there and predict something, but there was no point. Um, his switch into this thing is nothing. I'm just going to Lava Plume. He doesn't have a Lava Plume switch in. I guess Talon was his Lava Plume switch in. His other one is Latios, which is hardly a Lava Plume switch in because I'm going to taunt it and then he can't do much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to taunt the Latios. And then he can't roost or defog as he goes for Psy Shock. It does, that did a lot, don't get me wrong. Wow. And he has Life Orb, so Latios is about to go down. What does that do for me? If Latios goes down, what does that do for me? It's safer for Thunderous, for sure. And safer for Slowbro. All right, I'm going to go. I'm gonna keep going for Lava Plume then. I don't know if he can stay in. He might have to go into Garchomp and hopefully not get burned. Um, I think... Yeah, alright, so now he's definitely not doing much of anything, as he has to switch out here. Um, so I'm just going to keep going for Lava Plume. He's really risking his Azumarill. He's actually risking his Azumarill. This is a Skull chance to burn. That's ridiculous, I didn't get it though. I'm going to go right into my Slowbro. Slowbro's so good right now, guys. Like, you have no idea. In this, in this meta right now, it's amazing. Um... I could predict the uh, Latios to come back in, but it's it's going to die. So I don't. I'm gonna slack off. As he does go into Latios, and then I just kill it with Scald. So um, there's that. So Latios is down. Uh, my rocks are here to stay. He goes into Bisharp. He's going to be pursued. Um, but he has no reason to not knock here. So I'm gonna go into Gardevoir. Like he, he, yeah, that's what I thought. Like he'd better, he's better, he's better off going for a knockoff than he is going for pursuit. And now I can go into the monster. Um, I'm gonna be risky. I don't know if I can afford to be risky, but I'm going to be risky. I'm gonna put his Garchomp to sleep. As he does go into Garchomp, that was super obvious. It was so obvious that I thought he wasn't going to do it. But I'm going to go for Bullet Seed here. Bullet Seed is going to do a shit ton to this thing. Come on, more hits, more hits, more hits, more hits, more hits. Okay, if I can just get another three, that'd be great. As he woke up, and he goes for the Fire Blast. Oh, oh and I'm living, but the but I'm going to die from life. Oh, come on, kill this thing on the way out. Okay, cool. All right. That sucks, though, because Bisharp's still alive. I'm going to go to Drill, because if he goes, in the, if he goes into the... Um, Ah, uh, if he goes into the Azumarill, then I'm in a bad place, but I'm in a good place right now. I'm actually going to spin. I don't like these rocks. I don't know if he can risk his win condition. This is definitely his win con. I, I would not stay in here. Like, you cannot risk dying to kill an Excadrill. Oh my god, he actually did it. 
That's ridiculous. What's he gonna do here? I don't need this thing anymore since I got rid of rocks. Oh my god, they're vacuuming. Oh, sorry guys. Um, I'll be right back. That was a little ridiculous, but I am back. And I don't need this mod anymore, so I'm just gonna EQ. As he goes for knock. Um, he's just taking life orb recoil, which is good. Um, I don't want to go into Slowbro yet, because Slowbro is my wall for the, uh, for the, uh, Azumarill. So I'm just going with Thunderous here, and I can start spamming T-Bolts. I could also go for Focus Blast, but at this rage, T-Bolt should kill everything. And I have no reason to agility either, since all three of his mons have priority. So, time to get off some T-Bolt kills. He has to go for Sucker, Aqua, Polo Punch to kill my Thunderous. Actually, I think just Sucker and Aqua will do. Yeah, definitely Sucker and Aqua will do, but his Win Con is dead. Uh, Slowbro plus Heatran covers the, his remaining two mons, um, so I'm not, like, that's pretty much game at this point. Like, he has to go for Roost here, and I'm going to go for Focus Blast in case he wants, oh, I guess he doesn't want to go for Roost. Um, I gotta go to Heatran on this one, and I'm just gonna Lava Plume. Hopefully I can burn, and if he wants to switch out to Azumarill, I would want to burn it. Uh, he definitely just goes for Bullet Punch, sacking off his, uh, his, uh, Scizor. And uh, I like this team a lot. I think this team can put in a lot of work if I play it correctly. Um, and Lava Plume here. All of his moves are contact moves, so even if he does run knockoff on the uh, Golden Egg, which I do get the burn on the last one, uh, Rocky Helmet would have finished it off. So, uh, GG. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was, a, that was a nice way to get back into the game. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Um, I want more likes. The more likes I'm gonna, the more likes I get, the more showdown lives I'll do. Um, let me know what series you want to see more of. Pokemon Yellow does come out twice a week unless we get like 30 likes in a video, then it comes out a third time. Um, I'm trying to do Undertale every other day as often as I can. I couldn't do it. I missed one day because of thumbnail issues, but I put like two days in a row. This is this would probably out way after that. And um, what else? I want to start Tales of um, Tales of the Abyss on the channel for the 3DS. And I want to do VGC, waiting for a layout for that. And free for alls. If you guys want to join a free for all, let me know. We can we can hop on that Discord and we can all do one together. Uh, so yeah, drop a like, subscribe, share all that good jazz, and I'll see you guys.